What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. It looks like we're going to have two battles here today. We are against a foreign opponent who's running a Pikachu, got to respect the Pikachu, a Hatterene, a Steeny, Golisopod, Rotom, and the Alchemy. So this is going to be a little bit of a warm-up battle. If you guys missed the last battle, make sure you watch it after this video or stop right now and go back and watch it. It's a really good battle. You guys are going to love it. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below on who you think the MVP of this battle is going to be, and subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. Looking at my opponent's team, he's probably going to start with the... I'm honestly just going to start Bronzong no matter what. I'm not afraid of any of the Pokemon in my opponent's team. I still don't have Gyro Ball, so that's going to bite me in the butt. And we got some pretty good, uh, some pretty good music today. Really good backgrounds that we're both using. We're using the same pose, except my opponent's scared. I'm, I'm I look like I'm ready to take the planet or something. All right, what are you gonna do? Who's that? I thought I, w I thought it was gonna be the Pikachu. I'm going Bronzong here. I gotta be careful with this Pikachu because I really don't know what it's running. And I think Stealth Rock is going to be my priority here because the is going to be the strongest Pokemon in his team. It's probably a Light Ball Pikachu. This isn't going to hurt too much. It hurts a lot. And it paralyzes me. That's why you never sleep on Pikachu, guys. Set up the Stealth Rock. <laughs> I, I was going to save my Bronzong, but I have no reason to. We're going down. Oh, he withdraws. Who's this? Alchemy. Steamy. Okay. I'm just gonna reflect here. You should have taken the opportunity to attack me. Light screen is next. If I can take the special attacks too. Rapid spin. Take the rocks off the field. That's a good play. That's a really good play. Paralyzed. That's a little bit of a shame. I'm still going light screen, though. I c I'm really, really tempted to just go Machamp next, to be honest. Here comes a Pikachu? Is that, no, that's not Pikachu. That's a Hatter. Or, that's, that's a... That's not a Hatter. What is the name of that Pokemon? I still can't click light screen. Calm mind. This is going to be tough. We need to do something about this. It probably has some store power or something like that. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm honestly just gonna go into Galissopod, click first impression, and try to knock this thing out. You can call mine all you want. I should be able to, you know, knock you out. Unless you have Eviolite, -like, for sure. This is really scary. First impression. Almost knocks you out. Stored power. I'm a salt vest. I should be able to take this. Yeah, I take that perfect. Perfectly fine. I'm gonna go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not afraid to go Leech Life here. The top pass? Watch it be the Pikachu. Galissopod? No, Galissopod's a physical attacker. I should have probably gone Aqua Jet, but at least I get some kind of recovery here, no matter what the Mon is. What are you going to go to? Pikachu? I thought so. That's fine. Just knock out the Pikachu, I'll take it. I'll take the delicious, nutritious health back to full health. I can never go- I can never complain about that or go wrong with it. I knew it. Alright, so it is time for the second Wi-Fi battle. That's back-to-back -back, uh, battles where our first opponent, DC's Jens, is bringing a pretty good team. 
Snorlax, which you don't see every day. I haven't seen a Powdown in such a long time, or an Aegislash, uh, but he's providing a lot of ghost types, to be honest. Um, I'm not running a lot of ghost type attacks, or any dark type attacks, so that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, but he's probably going to start Mimikyu. Mimikyu's really good against my Bronzong, though. Hmm. I really don't have an answer for that Mimikyu, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, I think Digger's B is a, is a good mod to start with here. It's a little bit of a shame. I don't even have the Steel type move, so I need for this last battle. I need to bring Gyro Ball on this Bronzong. Too late for that now, but it is what it is. So we are up against Jens, who is looking really, really confident, and this music does not help. I feel like I'm going against the boss. All right, I haven't listened to the song in a, such a long walk in such a long time. Cada Fuldra, the Dragapult versus Diggersby. I am not running the Ice Punch. I think Earthquake is going to do it, though. I think we outspeed, unless this thing is Scarfed itself. Not Scarfed. That's good news. I'm going to reveal right off the bat that I am Scarfed. I do not care. Dragon Darts. That might knock me out. No. It's very close to knocking me out, though. Now, my, I think my opponent does have the Rotom, so he's probably going to go Rotom. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict that right now. And go for the Galosopod. Both gonna switch out, watch. So I'm gonna take the initiative switch because I'm faster. Go into Galosopod, and my opponent is gonna U turn. Okay. That that caught me off guard because I could've knocked this thing out. Now if he goes Rotom, I really can't I can't necessarily just go Bronzong. As much as I want to. My question is, do I can, do I have, do I let uh, Rosapod go down? I might. I'm just gonna go ahead and quick uh, click the Aqua Jet because he's gonna knock me out this turn, or not knock me out, but he's at least gonna bring me down to my Volt Switch. He's gonna bring me down to the Emergency Exit. Depending on who he switches into, I switch first. Is that how this works? It is, okay. I'm still going Diggersby here. And Volt Switch doesn't even work. Wow. I'm gonna quick attack. What if he scarfed himself? What if he is scarfed? This music's kind of scary. It's making me uneasy. Quick attack. This is gonna hurt. Doesn't knock it out though. Volt switch. That's fine. I'm gonna stay in and quick and click a uh, quick attack again. If he goes Dragapult, no biggie. At the very least, I can start clicking Earthquakes as I, as I like. Powdown comes out. Now, what I am going to do is take this opportunity and go into Bronzong. And set up uh, some screens. Some screen shenanigans. I kind of want to run Rapid Spin on Bronzong also. But I don't know how, how good that would be. Okay, so here comes the Bronzong. Ice Fang, not going to do anything to me. And honestly, I am just going to click Reflect. Because of the... And I, I'm Levitate. You can do whatever you want. You can try whatever you want. Does anybody know if Stealth Rock breaks Mimikyu? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set up... Future Slug's not going to do anything as much as I want to click on it. He has to switch now. But what is he going to switch into? I don't know. But I, I, I'm feeling really comfortable just switching into the Diggersby. 
And from Diggersby, I'm just gonna click Earthquake. I'm the only one switching. That's not good. Yawn? That's okay. Because now, I am just gonna click U-Turn. And then from there, I kinda wanna go Raichu if I'm being honest. Here comes the Rocky Helmet. My champ's really, really tempting right now, but I don't know how I feel about it yet. I think Elisopod's a good move, right? I think Elisopod's a good move. I know I'm gonna take some heavy damage right now. Oh, I, I dodged. Wow, I wasn't expecting that, if I'm being honest. What is he gonna go to next? I'm honestly just gonna click Liquidation and try to take this thing. Yawn, that's perfectly fine. He's probably gonna protect next turn or something. Liquidation's gonna hurt though. I take some damage. I'm gonna fall asleep next turn. Sandstorm goes away, which is actually a plus. At least I'm gonna take a wall from him. Aqua Jet should knock this thing out. Watch him protect here. If he protects, I'm gonna be just a little bit upset. Withdraws. Um, is this the... No, that's the Age of Slash. He's probably gonna want to set up or something. My question next is, what is he gonna try to do to me? Sword Stats is gonna hurt. A lot. I'm gonna be really upset if he goes Sword Stats. Um... Liquidation, maybe? Diggersby is going to be my next move for sure because this thing is going to try to Shadow Sneak at one point. If it is physical. It probably is physical. That's going to tell me right now if it's physical because Aegis Slash is a really slow mod. Yeah, here comes the Shadow Sneak. Which is perfectly fine. I still live. Wow. That Reflect helps a lot. Too bad I can't hit Leech Life. I hope I wake up next turn. Here's this turn. Come on, wake up. I'm, t I'm still... Ah, oh, Glissopod, come on. All right, I'm going to try to Aqua Jet. Because I know this thing's going to try to Shadow Sneak again. Hit you with an Aqua Jet. Drink some water. Relax. I'm okay with that. Reflect wears off, which is kind of not not a good thing. I'm still going Diggersby, though. He doesn't have any Stealth Rocks. He doesn't have anything that can take my Earthquake. So I'm just going to click Earthquake here. You can try to Shadow Sneak. You can try to King Shield. You can try whatever you want. I'm taking it. You can go ahead and bring in the, the Hippowdon next. You can bring in the Dragapult next. Just don't bring in the Mimic you. And I think those are his last three mods. Yeah, here comes the Hippowdon. Earthquake does no contact, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Can we get back-to-back -back wins this week? Or with this team? Hippopotters, uh, hip Hippopotters goes down. I'm not gonna take any damage because I'm. I love the sand. I love the sand. Relaxo the Snorlax. He still has the Dragapult, which I'm afraid of. So I'm just gonna take the opportunity, go to Bronzong again, and just set up the Reflect. Earthquake, not going to do anything. I am outplaying the shenanigans out of my opponent. All right, Reflect, here we go. My opponent's probably going to rage. Earthquake, still not going to do anything. I'm not going to switch out or anything. 
buffed by this. I'm just gonna stay in, to be honest. Go for. I haven't set up a light screen, right? I don't even think I need the light screen, to be honest. I'm just gonna future sight. Levitate. You're gonna keep taking damage. My opponent does not want to switch out, and I don't blame him. I'm just gonna set up the light screen and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Curse Snorlax. That's a little bit of a problem, if I'm being honest. Because his defense is just gonna keep going up. My opponent DCs. I don't blame him. We have time for one more battle. All right, we got one more battle, and my opponent is bringing in a mono ice team. So right off the bat, my chap loves going against this, and Bronzong, and I forgot to give the gyro ball to my Bronzong again, which is fine. I'm gonna start off with Diggersby because he's probably gonna want to start Nine Tails and set up a Aurora Bell. Yeah. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a good play. Now I really need to save my diggers before the Darmanitan because what is Darmanitan's base speed? I think it's 80, and I think we're base 80 as well. No, I don't think we're so diggers B is base 78, and Darmanitan is base. 95 so if he is scarfed he's gonna outspeed us no matter what so that's why screens are gonna be important in this battle right that's why we're gonna try to set him up pilot swine is gonna come out a shining one that's interesting i wonder why he decided to go with that uh caught me off guard for sure I can't, do i want to reveal fire punch i don't think so i don't think i do i might Ah, I'm revealing Fire Punch. I think we can live with it, right? This thing is bulky! Wow! I was not expecting that. Holy moly! Alright. I'm gonna switch into Bronzong. I can't believe it. Bronzong is gonna come out. I'm gonna set up my own Stealth Rocks. Because that's going to be key in this battle. Ice Shark, you can do that if you want. Hmm. I think I'm going to set up Reflect first. I am Levitate. You just wasted a turn, my friend. Next, I think it's a good opportunity for us to set up Stealth Rock. My opponent is extremely weak to Stealth Rock, and I think it's going to be key for this battle. Ice Shard, that's not going to do anything to us. Yeah, that did nothing. I'm going to Stealth Rock. And at this point, I think we're good to set up a sweep with Machamp. So we're going to go with Machamp right now. We're going to Dynamax. And we're just going to start firing off some... Some cheese strikes. My opponent's thinking about what the next move is going to be. Watch my opponent rage. My opponent can't be mad though because he's probably running screens himself with uh... With the, what do you call it? Darmatitan's going to hurt. I got a shiny Darmatitan myself in the heavy ball, by the way. Alright, here we go with Machamp. Whatever Machamp or whatever Darmatitan hits us with is going to hurt a lot. No doubt about it. Rock Ball is actually tempting. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a max cheese strike. We're both Dynamaxing. I wish I had spent this thing though. Beautiful, shiny, Dynamax, Star Man Attack. You don't see that every day. Probably do, but he probably don't. Now it's my turn to Dynamax. All right, my chap. Please hit this thing with a critical hit. We broke 
dynamaxing. Wow, I am scared. I got to reflect up at least. The max hellstorm, get us up the hill. Cheese strike is gonna hurt a lot harder though. You can set up the hill. You can do whatever you want. Cheese strike is gonna hurt. Probably not gonna get knocked out here. Or it is. Okay. We take his arm out of time. We're getting pumped. We're getting pumped. We're gonna get ready to sweep here, boys. We're getting ready to sweep. I want to get rid of this hail and go for a rock fall next turn. To be honest. Pile of Smite comes out. Okay, so Cheese Strike is probably the best move no matter what then. Yeah, I'm still going to hit Cheese Strike. Next turn is the turn I want to hit the... Next turn is the turn I want to hit the, uh... The rock fall. Pile of Swine also goes down. Watch this be a crit. Nope. But we're get we have plus two in crits now. Get buffed. That doesn't matter. I really don't mind being buffed by the hail. Darmada time is gone. So that's gonna make it a lot easier for us. Here comes the knight's house, who is probably gonna set up these screens. And it's probably gonna outspeed us, so no biggie there. I'm just gonna rock fall here. Shiny Ninetales. My opponent has a lot of shiny Pokemon in the team. Moonblast, that's gonna hurt. It doesn't quite knock us out though. Our special attack falls. Max Rock Ball is gonna knock this thing out. We just dropped a, a boulder on Ninetales. And it's a crit! Man, I am excited. What's next? What is next? Probably... So he has a Rotom. And what was the other Pokemon he had? He has one more in the back. Cloyster. That's kind of scary, if I'm being honest. You're going to be hurt by the... By the the self rock. I bet you wish you set up the screens now, huh? Cross chop, it's stabbed, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna result in a critical hit. Icicle spear, it's gonna hurt. That's gonna knock us out. One, two, watch, the, watch us live this. Three, no, that's a high roll. Four, five. We took that like a champ, though. Reflect wears off, right? Not, not yet. We're actually good to go with the Braviary here. And Galissapod. We're gonna start with Galissapod. And just hit him with the first impression, because it's gonna hurt. This thing doesn't have any, any recovered, any, re any, uh, recovery, so. First impression's gonna hurt. Oh, my opponent still has three mods on the back, not two. Rock Blast. That's gonna knock us back. Woo! That's gonna emergency exit, actually. I'm honestly fine with that. Here comes the emergency exit. That's after five attacks. Ghoulism Pod, you're so bulky, man. And now... We go Diggersby. Diggersby is just going to... Earthquake here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna Earthquake here. The next valuable Pokemon in this team is gonna be the Diggersby, and then it's going to be the Braviary. Because Digger Speed is a lot faster than uh, Braviary because of the choice of art. Man, this is how 
Excuse my chap, ladies and gentlemen. Watch him DC here. Pick up the Glyceon. A shiny one. All my opponents Pokemon are square shinies. That's a little suspicious, right? Alright. Earthquake is gonna knock the Glaceon out because it's not the bulkiest in the physical attack. And then next, Rotom's gonna get knocked out with an Earthquake also. No, I have Levitate. So I can't knock it out with an Earthquake. Oh, so you don't get knocked out with an Earthquake. Freeze Drive, that's gonna hurt. Oh my Lanta. Okay. That's fine. Because now we're going to hit you with Braviary, right? Yeah, Braviary. I outspeed this uh, Glaceon and I outspeed the Rotom. Stealth Rock? Oh, when did he set up the Stealth? Oh, with Phyloswine. That's right, close combat. I can't believe I just realized that there's Stealth Rocks on the field. I'm honestly just gonna chill out. Close combat's gonna is gonna win it for us. My opponent's team was really bulky. That Pyloswine, though. I've never encountered a Pyloswine like that before. And then here comes the last Square Shiny, which is the Rotom. And that's gonna be it for this video, watch. I think the MVP of this battle, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, you guys can have your own opinions, let me know in the comment section down below. But I personally think that the MVP of this battle was going is the Machamp. You can also say that it was the bronze the Bronzon because of the screens that we set up. Close combat. That's a knockout. Bravery, you beast. That's going to be it for this battle, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching these three battles and spending some time with me. Again, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below on the comment section and let me know who the MVP was and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. I will see you guys next time.